your boots. The Southeastern Ranch Rodeo Finals are happening this weekend. Joining us now is Tucker Johnson with the details. Tucker, you were educating me a little bit. What is a traditional ranch rodeo? Uh, so the ranch rodeo runs a little different than your original, uh, like the rodeo everybody's used to. So we have four man teams that have to compete in all events, which is sorting doctrine, stray gathering, trailer loading, wild cow milking, uh, and ranch bronc. So it's kind of like you're doing day-to-day -day work on the ranch. Uh, you take the guys that work for you and you're putting them against another ranch to see you know, who's got the better group of guys working. So, uh, so your day-to-day -day work, but it's a competition, you're competing. Yes, ma'am, we're against the stock and we're against the clock. Uh, everybody's <laughs> going for the money and everybody's going for the buckles. Uh -huh. I, I told you I have a little one who is fascinated with cows, so you have to tell me, what is wild cow milking? What does that mean? Okay, so that's a question that is very often <laughs> asked. Uh, so wild cow milking, uh, it's pretty much a staple in the ranch rodeos. All our ranch rodeos that are sanctioned around the southeast, they have to have wild cow milking. So you got a four-man team. Uh, you got one man on horseback. You got three men on the ground. Uh, the one on horseback has got two loops, got two chances to catch the cow, to rope her and just kind of hold her still for a second. Your first guy is your mugger. He's got to go hold her head. The second, the third guy grabs her tail and they have to hold her still. Sounds a little aggressive. <laughs> it's way worse than the Cowboys, I promise. Uh, the fourth guy is to come in and milk her while she's standing up. You have to have enough in the bottle to pour out uh, and you turn the cow loose, she's fine. Uh, most of the time the Cowboys are fine. <laughs> um, but so that's your wild cow milking. And it's on the time, you've got to have milk. The cow's got to be standing up the whole time. Uh, but that's, we do have a very, you know, you say that, we have a very strict set of rules on the animals and stuff. You, there's no rough house and anything. You'll get flagged out, put out of the rodeo. Uh, so it is way worse on the Cowboys. It's kind of like NASCAR. Everybody comes to see the wrecks. <laughs> now, your jacket says Spring Hill Farms. Are these teams all different farms? Are they kind of a mixture of different groups? Yes, ma'am, they're all different farms. Uh, some of them's kind of groups of guys that have thrown teams together, but they're still representing a farm or a stockyard. There's a lot of stockyard teams in it. Uh, it's, you kind of call them day workers or day-to-day -day cowboys. They, uh, they go around and work other people's cows for them, take care of their animals and stuff for them. Uh, so that's kind of what, that's kind of what we're dealing with here. That's our uh, group of participants. Do people know what to expect when they come to a ranch rodeo? Because I know you said it's a little different. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sometimes I think they do. <laughs> the older school people do. There used to be some around, and they kind of slacked off. Most of the time they don't. Uh, <laughs> they kind of. Most of the time they do like them better, just because it's more action. It's kind of more hands-on. Mm -hmm. uh, well, there's more wrecks, so <laughs> that's what they like better. <laughs> and you said this is kid-friendly. This is a family-friendly event. Yes, ma'am. This is a no-alcohol event uh, right there in Pike Road. It's very. Uh, we've got a mechanical bull, a bouncy house coming. There's full concessions, lots of vendors, a Western store coming. So anybody that's uh, missing a Western store in Montgomery, come check it out. Ooh, Western store is always fun. Uh, but it's very kid friendly. We have a calf scramble for kids. We'll turn out two calves, uh, ribbons on their tail. The kids eat, go chase them around and pull the ribbon off and get a little cash prize. Uh, so we love kids coming. We love to get them involved. Love do, seeing kids. Do you need tickets to attend? Yes, ma'am. There's tickets at the gate. Uh, they're $12 for adults. Anyone under 12 is free. Oh, wow. So all the kids basically yes, get it Yes, ma'am. All the free. kids can come in. Yeah, bring your, bring your neighbor's kids. That's <laughs> exciting. You heard him. He said he loves to see kids. They love to see families out there having a good time. You said it's in Pike Road. Remind people date, time, and location if they want to come out and bring their families and have yes, a good time. Uh, we're at the Pike Road Agriculture Arena. It's right beside the ball fields on Trotman Road. Uh, we'll start off at 630 each night. 6.30 each night. This is 23rd, 24th Southeastern Ranch Rodeo. A little different, he said, than what you may expect, but folks always have a good time, and kids are welcome. Tucker, we yes, appreciate you joining us here on Alabama Live. Yes, Thank you so Thank much. Thank you all very much.